Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're taking a look at Project Luna, which is actually something that I've never even heard of, and I believe it only came out 9 days ago. So Project Luna is aimed to be a Windows 10 remake of Windows XP, fully skinned out Windows 10 to be Windows XP. Now I completely forget how I came across this project, but they do actually have a Google site. Now I know that, it, of course, this is a Google site. But um, it, it provides all the information you need. It provides the developers discords. And apparently there are me and three people. So four people that are working on this project. Um, I mean, it seems pretty legitimate. And if you click on the Mediafire link, you'll see it was uploaded on July 1st. It is currently July 10th. So this is like a brand new project. 1.0. I'm taking a look at it today. I haven't spoken to the developers at all, so this is my completely unbiased review. And in fact, usually for these kinds of videos, I take a look at the operating system beforehand and I kind of write notes. I have not tried Project Luna because I am legitimately excited about this and I want to give my honest, full opinion first time. I don't want to look at this beforehand. Uh, first things first, I believe that logo is different, or actually that might be an older logo because I do not recognize that. Um, but it's certainly not the XP, but I do think that is an older Windows 10 logo And here we are inside of Project Luna um, With full scaling VMware tools enabled. This is a 1440p Project Luna and I am really impressed So just taking a look at the desktop if you put someone who used Windows XP before in front of it They would not be able to tell the difference between this and Windows 10 um, the only thing that really differentiates on the home screen or on the desktop rather, is the cursor, which can easily be changed to the Windows XP style, and the icons in the system tray, which while wow, that actually comes out like it did in Windows XP. I am so impressed already, and I've seen the desktop. That's it. These elements just open the standard ones found in Windows 10, which is completely okay. Um, and there is your notification center. Um, so right clicking on the taskbar, we do get retro bar. Okay, I have actually seen this before. So they're using retro bar for the taskbar. Um, but the start menu is wow. This is very much like Windows XP. I mean, just hovering over stuff, it comes out to the right. This is so cool. And I know Windows XP didn't have a search feature, um, but it, this is how I picture Windows XP having a search feature if it did. Um, on the desktop, there is a readme file. Um, Project Luna is made by one de two developers, one in Ireland and one in Switzerland. Well, to both of you developers, this is a really, really good. Um, moved from 1607 to 21H2. Okay, so apparently we are running 21H2. Chrome has been replaced with Firefox. Um, Edge is gone, and Windows 10 Pro debloated. So this should be the bloated Windows 10. Um, so... Internet Explorer, okay, this just opens the default browser, which is Firefox. I was really hoping that there was, like, a classic Internet Explorer installed, just, just because. But, um, wow. So taking a look at File Explorer, okay, so there are no window borders for this, which, so it doesn't have Windows XP borders, but this, the, the system font has been changed to the one found in Windows XP, which is really cool. This PC icon is the one from Windows XP, and it doesn't work good with toolbars. I mean, these one, this is in light mode, the rest of the system is in dark mode, but you can easily change that if you wanted. Um, but I'm just so impressed with the look and feel of the desktop already. I just want to see what the Microsoft Store is going to look like, because I know that this is the one from Windows 11. Yeah, this looks really, this just looks crazy. The Windows 11 Microsoft Store on the Windows XP. That is, that's crazy. Okay. So the old start menu does bring up the one from Windows 10 and the start screen. Okay. It literally just does the same thing. Okay. So opening up settings, I would just want to see what this is. This is Windows 10 21 H2 installed July 1st. So this is literally a nine day old operating system. I mean, this comes with all of the default Windows apps, um, obviously that the bloated. So pre-installed by the developers, we have 7-zip open shell, which I thought it was classic shell, but it has the classic shell icon. I don't know. I've been out of the custom start menu since Windows 8. Um, accessories, very de-bloated here. 
administrative tools, standard stuff you find in Windows 10. Yeah, I mean, this is... Oh, that looks so weird, PowerShell on Windows... PowerShell on Windows XP. That is so weird. Wow. I mean, just the new icons from Windows 10, I think it was 2004 or 2009, um, those versions of Windows, the icons just look so good with the Windows XP theme. I am genuinely impressed with Project Luna right now. This is so... This is so cool. I have wanted something like this forever, and this is just incredible. This is probably the best Windows XP skin I've seen for Windows 10. Does it have the old sounds? Nope, it still has Windows 10 sounds. Okay, so that is another problem that I did see. Um, when you boot up the system, the default Windows taskbar comes up, but then it takes a little bit for RetroBar to click in. Um, but if we reopen RetroBar... Oh, it's not in here, so I just completely messed up the desktop until I restart again. Okay. But, I mean, this is a really cool thing. So, yeah, this is Project Luna. I am incredibly impressed. Hats off to the developers if they see this video. I am incredibly impressed with this. I would really consider using this on my main computer. Um, if I wasn't so addicted to Windows 11, because I love Windows 11. So with that being said, this was Project Luna. Definitely let me know what you think about this OS in the comments below, because I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.